So here's what's illegal. What's illegal is what you're doing to that man. There is nothing about his life of the area in which you're attacking that is public to anyone in this world. So what you've been doing is sexually assaulting someone by shaving their body and trying to turn them into something that they're not. And openly, it's not your job to choose what the Lord God above has made in any boy or in any girl, any man or any woman or anyone in this world. But you thought you had rights to carry secret information, private information, confidential information, medical rights information across the state line, making this whole thing now federal. And a federal offense is what's being committed by you. So that makes you illegal. But what makes you immoral is thinking that your way of the world is more important than God's way in a man's soul. You see, how that man now feels about Christians is, well, pretty paltry. The truth is, if you talk to him to him any length of time, if you give yourself the ability to be generous and kind, what you find out is that every Christian who claimed to be Christian has simply obliterated that man's life. And Muslims that came across the sea and lied to you and me about having legitimate right to continue working here in their version of God's light have completely lied. So why would he want to have his name and his personhood associated with liars? This is the part of you I can't understand. Why would you do that to someone? And why would you do that in a way that doesn't highlight you?